I joined the Royal Navy in 1960 and I studied microwaves and I learned all aspects of microwave warfare their dangers, their uses, the dangers to the human body so, and I had a thorough background in, in microwaves. Microwaves at that time were, as they are today, used as weapons. It is a perfect weapon because you can't feel it. And for a government, if you can microwave people you don't like, you can give them cancer or brain damage and you've effectively put them out of action and you can't be prosecuted for it because they don't know you're doing it. You talk about microwaves used as weapons. <laughs> Is it the same microwaves that are used in uh, modern uh, communications technologies? Exactly the same. Nothing has changed. Uh, the only thing that has changed is the color of the box that they come out of. So if, if you look into <laughs> the science about this, mm. what kind of symptoms uh, could uh, wireless technologies cause? Uh, you will feel very tired, you will feel lethargic, you will feel uh, depressed, which is usually the first symptom. Uh, you won't want to get up in the morning, you won't want to be happy. You will have more colds, more coughs, longer colds, longer coughs, because your immune system cannot cope. Mm -hmm. That is followed usually by some form of neurological damage. Uh, you will feel suicidal. Uh, suicide is a very common side effect. Uh, you will feel life isn't worth living and then that has a knock-on effect in the rest of the body. So basically, uh, in terms of the brain, you get incredibly depressed and in terms of the body, your immune system is suppressed. And of course, then you're open to all infections and it, it's a very miserable existence. These uh, <clears throat> health damages you are talking about here, how much uh, science supports that? Oh, there are. Um, I had, when I went to Canada, I had documentation of two and a half thousand military papers and these are military papers done by the country's best scientists in the best highly paid laboratories highly equipped laboratories uh, and I had two and a half thousand of them uh, many many years of study uh, and they all say this they all say this that uh, they can affect the eyes, the heart, the brain, and they can induce cancer. And when I got to Canada, the professor at Trent University, uh, she had another, and she showed them to me, another 6,000 documents that I didn't have. So there are at least 8,500 military documents with this. We also have now the peer-reviewed epidemiological studies, 14 of them to my knowledge, that all show low-level radiation causes cancer and neurological diseases, illnesses.